Close your eyes and watch your breath. Breathe easily coming in. Let the breath go out on its own. You don't have to force it out. There's this tendency when we're focusing on the breath to try to control it too much. If the breath is not comfortable, just think. Maybe longer might be good and see if the body responds. Or shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. Just pose that thought in the mind. You don't have to put a lot of effort into the breathing. Whatever effort there is goes into the in-breath. Let the out-breath go on its own. You want to learn how to be on good terms with your breath. After all, it is the force of life. So see what it needs. See what the body needs right now in terms of the breath. This way you give yourself a good place to stay inside. You can be at peace inside. This is a day when they, they keep announcing peace and goodwill, peace and goodwill. Well, the peace and the goodwill have to start inside first. So you try to bring the body and the mind together on good terms. The body may not be perfect, the mind may not be perfect, but at least have them get along. If we wait for perfection, there's never going to be any peace in the world at all. This is why we have problems outside. People want things to be just so outside, and if it's not, not that way, then they get upset. And then there's no peace. That's so why peace has to come from contentment. You've got, a, you've got this breath. Okay, be content with this breath. You can nudge it a little bit. There may be some limits to how far you can improve it, but learn how to be content with what you've got, because it's good enough. If we wait for perfection, you're in the wrong world. Peace in the human world means learning how to find some contentment and learning how to develop your own inner resources. The more you can develop your inner resources, the less you're going to need outside. So work on these. And this way, you've instead of struggling and fighting over the world outside, you learn how to find some peace inside, and then the peace begins to spread out. And this is where peace comes from. In this way, at the same time, you're showing goodwill, both for yourself and the people around you. Goodwill means wishing for happiness, wishing for true happiness, and realizing that it has to come from your actions. So you work on your actions. What are you doing? What are you saying? What are you thinking? And you meditate on the breath, and this gives you the mind a good place to stay so it can watch things. If you make a mistake, you can realize, okay, this was a mistake. And then you figure out, what can I do next time around not to repeat that mistake? When your mind is in a good mood like this, it's a much better position to figure out what needs to be done. So give the mind a good place to stay so you can have some peace and spread goodwill. And the, your actions actually are in line with your goodwill. As the Buddha said, this, spreading goodwill depends on having a sense of enough, also having a sense of patience, having a sense of endurance. In this way, we, our goodwill spreads around, our happiness spreads around. Because the happiness that comes from practicing the Dharma is a happiness that doesn't have any boundaries. It's a goodwill that's universal. It's a sense of peace that even though not everybody in the world is going to be peaceful, at least the people who are touched by your life are going to find peace from your source. And this is how peace gets spread around in the world. So that message of peace and goodwill actually does become a reality, not just a few words. <laughs>